earlier we used uh, strings uh, within double quotes. Uh, let's go over now and uh, see a couple of examples to go into the details uh, what kind of things you can do with uh, strings. So normally you would just put uh, a string in double quotes and uh, if you print it out or you assign to a variable that's just the content of what you have in that double quotes. You can put backslash n, you see there's the backslash n here within the string anywhere, within the double quotes and when printing out it will print it will be seen as a new line, so two and a new line and lines will be printed out. You can embed uh, single quotes into do those double quotes, so you can say another and then quote string, and when you print it out, you will see the single quotes. Now, what happens? You can you can also uh, put a variable inside for variable interpolation. So if you have a scalar variable dollar name equal to some value and then you put hello and the dollar name then when it's printed out or when it's assigned the content of dollar name is going to be embedded into the string so that's okay but how can you put a double quote inside uh, another double quote so how can you have a string that inside it has a word with double quotes this this this, this won't work because Perl will see this double quote and this will close it and it won't really know what to do with this R. So this doesn't work. The, in order to work, to make it work, we have to escape the double quotes, telling Perl that don't deal, don't handle this double quote as a as something special. This is just a regular character. So we need to escape both of them with backslash, putting backslash in front of those characters. So if you write this, then it's already able to print his double quote real name is Foo. Now what happens if you want to do something really nice like his real name is Foo both in double quotes. Then you have to escape these double quotes here and these double quotes. It's getting really ugly and you have many such strings in uh, Perl. You write a lot of these outputs because you're preparing reports or whatever. And therefore there is a much nicer tool in Perl to do this. You can use the QQ or double Q if you like, and put uh, parentheses after it, a pair of parentheses, and whatever is in be between the pair of parentheses, it behaves as if it was within double quotes, except that the double quote now is not special, so you don't have to escape it here. So now, if you see this one, this is this resembles really the result already, so it's much nicer to read, and you just have to use the double Q. Double Q. Now, what happens if you want to put parentheses inside? As long as they are well balanced, so starting with an opening and closing it, it's okay, because Perl will count the balanced parentheses inside and know that these are just part of the string, and this one, which, well, the syntax highlighter here in the uh, slides doesn't work well, this one is the closing one of this one, of the opening one. So that way it will work. But what if really you want to put, and it's ra rare, but what if you want to put a closing a parent, a, a closing parentheses before, inside a string, so before uh, you are actually closing. So let's say you're putting it in the opposite way. Well, this would be an error. You could escape it with a backslash, just as we were escaping here, but there is a better solution. QQ is actually not a function, so it doesn't need the uh, the, the parentheses here. It can uh, use any pair of parentheses. For example, the square brackets it can use. So then if you start, if you write QQ and then open a square bracket, then Perl will know that the closing part of it is the closing square bracket. And then inside, only the square brackets are special. The regular ones are okay now. So you can just use them.